हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास फिफ्थ इन योर सेंट मेरी सी डी वीडियो चैनल एंड दिस इज योर कंप्यूटर क्लास सो एज यू नो दैट वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड अवर सिलेबस इन अवर लास्ट क्लास सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द रिविजन फ्रॉम द लेसन नंबर वन ओके फॉर दैट यू कैन ओपन इट सो यू आर वेरी अवेयर विद लेसन नंबर वन इट इज द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स ओके so i'll first of all the computers which we are using today those were not established or launched earlier okay so earlier what were the devices some of earlier computing devices were abacus you know very well abacus was invented in china okay and uh, near about 5000 years ago it was invented okay then after the china it was used in russia and japan also okay so what is the use of uh, abacus it is used to uh, perform simple calculations such as addition and subtraction only got it then second one is napier's won what we are studying here we are studying some earlier computing devices so in this series we have studied first of all abacus and next one napier's won so question and answers also we have learned about the napier spoon and uh, it was a calculating device and uh, this was invented by sir john napier as the name also indicate and in year 9, 1616 okay so what is the use of this so abacus was just for the addition and subtraction and this in addition subtraction multiplication and division also okay now the next one is pascaline and uh, it was invented by uh, blasi pascal who was the french mathematician okay so rectangular box with eight movable wheels were attached in it okay now the next one is jacquard's card joseph maria jacquard developed an automatic weaving system in 1801 Okay, so what was the use of this Jacquard's card? It is for weaving patterns into fabrics using cards with punched holes. Okay, and uh, this was the beginning of the concept of punch cards. Now, next one is difference engine. Charles Babbage was an English mathematician to calculate mathematical tables. He invented different engine in the nineteenth century, but what was happen? It was not accurate. Okay. some problems were created in this difference engine and then analytical engine this was also invented by the charles babbage and uh, it is driven or worked upon by the steam power it had almost all parts of a modern computer and uh, charles babbage is considered as the father of computer this we know very well okay here the picture also you can see in this okay now the next one is census machine so what was it that uh, it is known as a census tabulating machine why it was first used to tabulate census data in 1980 okay and uh, later on uh holrath founded the tabulating machine company named ibm what is the full form of ibm underline it international business machine okay all the full forms you have to learn okay within the chapter outside of the chapter okay related to your topics then classification of computers mainly there are first and c first generation computer that was used in 47 to 1956 okay that is eniac electronic numerical integrator and computer underline this also was the first the most popular computer of this generation which generation first generation okay and the weight was uh heavy that is near about 27 tons okay then second generation computer contains all the essential parts of the modern computer and uh, it is in comparison of weight it is lighter than the first generation but still it is heavy in the size okay and the languages such as cobol and fortran both the uh, full forms cobol as well as fortran is given to you okay in the exercises 
means in extra work i have provided you you have to learn it okay so these type of languages that is cobol and fortran were used in the second generation computer then see third generation computer 1964 to 1971 new devices like scanner magnetic ink character reader came into use during this period memories had large capacities to store data and information operating system was also used in this computer understood this we are talking about the third generation computer now the fourth one that is still today we are using that is the fourth generation computer okay so these computers have extremely large memories as we know very well and they have improved storage devices and their weight is also very less as compared to the first second and third generation computer then computers can be linked together to that they can be they can share the information anywhere in the world we can share our information by connecting the computers with each other now the last one fifth generation computer the computer of this period have an extremely large storage capacity they are able to make accurate decisions in true sense this generation is an age of supercomputers we can say why we are seeing this as a supercomputers because anything we can do with the computers uh, with the help of computer got it and these are extra advanced features that what we will ask them or what input we want from the output we want we can get accordingly okay so here do you know paraman and anurag are the four names of the super computers which were made in india india okay these are the first computers paraman and anurag that were made in india only so here very important characteristics of a computer so simply its speed is very high accuracy it is where the output we get is accurate whatever output we are getting that depends on the input what we are giving to the computer then storage computer can store a very large amount of data in appropriate time okay so all these were the advantages of the computer now the limitations there are some limitations also along with the advantages that computer cannot think okay computer cannot decide computer cannot express their ideas cannot implement and no feeling if they can't decide by their own they can't think by their own so how they will decide how they will give the output with their own whatever input we are giving to the computer or whatever data we are feeding in the computer upon that only it will work okay then cannot take its own decision already done only expert users can work on it this we know very well if we don't know anything about the computer then what we will do in that okay so the expert user or the person who is having the knowledge about the computer using the computer system only that can work on the computer got it then here are the quick recap this you have to do in the copy if you haven't still you haven't done this work in the copy then complete it okay this is the quick recap some early computing devices are given here that we have studied abacus pascaline difference engine navier's bone jacquard's card and elastical engine and here are the classification of the computer mainly there are five classification of computers and with their years okay so all this you have to write in the copy and how you will do the revision now i have explained you the chapter and this is the golden opportunity for you all if you haven't attended the class or not seen those videos so you can see these and you will get the same knowledge okay so what is the homework revise the chapter and learn it and you can write you can make a separate copy you have to make a separate revision copy of the computer and you daily in each and every video i will tell you what you have to do the in the homework okay